couple weeks. Oh my gosh, Jeez. are you okay? Thanks for coming and getting me. Man. Oh man. What are you guys doing here? Nothing. What, what's the address? It's uh, 8004, I think. I mean, what size is this thing? It's almost 900 square feet. I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Wait. That's it. Right there. Yeah, there it is. Wow, look at that. Look at what? Hold on, let's see. Where'd you find this one? Found this one on the MLS, actually. How many square feet is this? It said 900 square feet, but it looks like it's got a second story on it. Yeah, this thing is way bigger than 900 Man, square this feet. This might be a sweet deal. This might be a deal. Front door's wide open over here. I am not going in there. Come on, man, you got the golf club. Did you hear that? <coughs> oh, man, are you all right? Oh, my God. Are you all right? Oh, oh, I've been in here for like a week. Oh, my. Now that we got that little situation squared away. Man, not every day you find a stranger in an abandoned house. Duct taped, nonetheless. Guys, we're here in Burbank today at an awesome rehab project for Eye Candy Homes, and we're gonna be making a lot of changes to this. We wanna go over three main points in this video. And the first point is never overlook the MLS data. This home showed as 900 square feet on the MLS, but until we got to this home, Tim, what did we find? An extra 500 square feet. Now, if you remember on 3316 Vernon, we were able to do the same exact thing. This is just more proof that if you pay attention, you can get good deals. All right, here we are upstairs with the extra 500 square feet. Now this reported on the MLS, it was 894. So a technique that we learned at Eye Candy is to always double check these things. Absolutely, Tim. And this is something that Eye Candy Homes teaches to their students who partner with them on these projects. Now looking from the exterior, you know that a two-story home is gonna be very difficult to be 900 square feet. And that's why we came here. And those are the important techniques that Eye Candy Homes teaches you guys. That's right. Another thing to keep in mind is when you come through here like Steve did, you have to have a vision still. So even though this is a two-story house, you still have to come in with a vision of what you can do. This had a rare situation where you only had access to the second floor from the outside. Absolutely. And so what we did is we hired an architect to help us come up with a design that's going to make all this space in this home the best use bringing it up to a value where we can sell it and make profit. As you guys can see upstairs, the only access to upstairs are these stair stairs right behind me. And so what we want to do is we want to put stairs in the inside of the house, making it all one. And Tim, how are we going to do that? Well, first thing we did is we contacted an architect. Although Steve and I have really good vision and we have an ability to look forward in these projects, you still need to make sure that it's functional and possible to do these things structurally. So let's take a look in the inside. We'll show you exactly where they're going now. So here we are in the living room right now. This is where the stairs are going to go. So instead of only being able to access from the outside, we now have interior access. Absolutely, we're going right on the opposite side of that wall, going straight up. Now, another thing you have to think about is where do you put these staircases? In this instant, this is going to be the best place. We do have a furnace right above us that's laid down, and we're actually going to put a new furnace. We're relocating that, moving ductwork, um, all kinds of changes on this first floor here. 
We're in the kitchen right now and Steve's got a couple of more structural things that he went over with the architect to make this even better. Absolutely, and as you can see behind me, we have a bedroom right here and we have two more additional bedrooms right behind Tim. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bedroom open up this wall, making this more of a dining area, combining the two smaller bedrooms, making them one bedroom, adding pantries, adding bigger closets in the bedroom, everything that a buyer is gonna love in this property. And again, all these changes are going to be made with the mindset of we are on a budget. All right, we're outside now, and we have one final point to drive home, and that's the budget. Make sure that you have these visions that are also coinciding with your budget. You can't have a brand new house if you only have 20,000 to spend on your rehab. Absolutely, Tim. And in this particular house, we were able to keep the most expensive items intact. The kitchen, the bathrooms, we didn't have to reconfigure or move any of those major plumbing walls or electric. We were able to configure everything around what was existing and really still giving it an awesome floor plan and an awesome concept. All right guys, we're super excited for this Eye Candy Homes renovation. We actually have a student on this project. As some of you guys know, we do have a coaching program that allows investors slash students to become experts in rehabbing houses. If you guys want more information, check out the website. We're always putting on free events and we love sharing our content with you guys. That's right, don't forget to click, like, subscribe, engage, and if you wanna learn more about it, contact us and we'll show you how to make this property a hole in one. <laughs> Was that stupid? <laughs> <laughs>